Rick Helfenbein is the president and CEO of the American Apparel and Footwear Association. His group represents more than 1,000 retailers and manufacturers in the clothing and footwear world. And so uh, you may recognize some of them, Guy Carter, Tory Burch, and Klein, and Vans. So Rick, nice to have you on. You know, just listening to the president, I know that, what, six days ago you were quote, quoted everywhere saying you were freaked. Right now you are... Beyond freaked. Beyond freaked. You know, we, we have gone to the next stage. We, uh, our industry is sitting around feeling like we've just uh, bought tickets for the second sailing of the Titanic. The only difference is this time we know exactly where the icebergs are. We're scared. We're panicked because we know what's going to happen. You know, all you have to do is go back a little time in history to uh, 1930 to the Smoot-Hawley Terrace, which were designed to protect our industry. They did a great job. They did a wonderful job because today 98% of apparel and footwear is imported into the United States. It is very clear to us tariffs do not work. And the president is using them, shall we say, as a weapon. He's weaponized a tool that was in his arsenal. And it's, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt the American consumer big time. How? Prices, prices are going to jump dramatically. Our industry right now is 6% of all imports, but we already pay, because of Smoot-Hawley, 51% of all tariffs collected. Now you're going to add on top of that another 25%? You must be kidding. Prices are going to jump $10, $20, $50 an item. And we know, historically speaking, it's very simple. You raise the price, the sales go down, the jobs get lost, and uh, you know we don't want to see another 1930, but this is bad. And, and quite frankly, I'm watching, as everyone is, what the market's doing today. I don't think this is a, a full reaction from the market just yet. I don't think, th I think they're still hoping that you know, we're in a negotiating tactic. You're clearly not still hoping that. You, you say, no. you know the iceberg is a coming, you're well, just thrilled that you know where the iceberg is. Like, the, you, do you not have hope? I mean, he's meeting with Xi. June 28th is the G20. You're not holding your breath a little bit? In the apparel and retail business, six weeks is a lifetime. Really? And also, we buy. Think about this. We buy four to six months in advance. So we're going to wait six weeks? You must be kidding. This is just not going to happen. So it, it doesn't matter at this point whether he hits us with a tariff or he doesn't because we're business people. We're not politicians. We have to do what's right for business and we have to protect ourselves or we'll be shutting more doors. You're the guy on the front lines. So, so the president is sitting there uh, misstating that this is good for GDP, that this is good for the U.S. economy. What would your message be back to the president? Look, we've, we've been to the White House, we've been to USTR, we have explained this innumerable times, but the president, to his credit, is a master salesman and he's out there trying to convince everybody this is somehow good for us. You know, to his credit, he got everyone to the table, but now we've gone a step too far. And this step too far, if carried out, is really going to burn us. It's going to burn us big time. Mm. And you have to realize when an apparel manufacturer moves out, there's all sorts of effects that happen with that because they don't come back so fast yeah. or at all. And plus, it's very simple. We have something going on. We call it bumper car inflation. You move out of China, you go to Vietnam, somebody gets bumped out of Vietnam, they go to Indonesia, prices start rising everywhere. And just recently, uh, the president used another, this is section 301, he used 201 on washing machines. Have you gotten to a store lately? The price of a washing machine went up $82 and dryers, which aren't tariffed, went up $92. Yeah. So. This has a e ripple effect on our economy. I hear you, a long-term damaging ripple effect. Uh, Rick Helfenbein, please come back anytime. <laughs> Thank I appreciate you. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.